Are you serious? Are you serious? Everybody get a cup of coffee. Calm down. Calm down. But the Holy Land strikes back. Yes, uh, there was a uh, Hezbollah fires rockets into northern Israel this morning, killing a Jewish lady and injuring seven other civilians. And the Holy Land, the empire, strikes back. Let me tell you all about what this is means at this moment in history. But first, let's put a shout out, if we could, right now for ReverseMore.com. That's ReverseMore.com. Seniors across the nation have found themselves replanning their financial strategies after this country saw this dramatic rise in home values. Coupled with an unsettling and volatile stock market this month. That's why tens of thousands of seniors are replanning and resecuring their financial futures with reverse mortgages. A reverse mortgage allows seniors to profit from untapped equity in your home and receive a lump sum or payments every month from the bank based on the value of your home. Work with Mutual of Omaha to customize a reverse mortgage solution that fits your unique financial situation today by going to www.reversemore.com. Just go to reversemore.com. Click on the link in below in this description, reversemore.com. All right, a lot of folks, because when the values of properties went up, then you can collect the uh, excess money really uh, off your equity of your home and you can get it all one shot or you can let them disperse it slowly either way some folks it's a great plan all right let me tell you what's going on right now there's a there's a situation developing uh, in Israel and I think we've got to deal with this Um, wow I mean there's no other way around it we're living in the end times and the prophecies of the last days are certainly playing out right before our very eyes. Let me tell you what's happened this morning uh, uh, as Hezbollah has struck again. Innocent village killing innocent Jews and injuring others needlessly in an attack by Hezbollah from Lebanon. Israel has responded. Israel's carried out an extensive series of of airstrikes in response to the attack, rocket attack, indiscriminate attack by uh, Hezbollah. uh, Israel strikes inside Lebanon this morning after the militants fired a series of rockets at the Israeli military base and a nearby city, killing one Israeli woman and injuring seven other civilians. Israeli officials are saying in an escalation that threatens to undermine this week-long negotiations to defuse tensions in the region. So while this negotiation is going on, Hezbollah is firing cheap shots from southern Lebanon, from the north. Uh, at least one rocket hit the city of Safed, Safed, excuse me, Safed, which is eight miles from the border. And uh, beyond the emergency evacuation zones, Israel then is established to protect its civilians from the growing violence. So Hezbollah fires over the evacuated villages and hits an innocent city of Safed. And there uh, an, an, a woman was killed. More than 100,000 Israeli citizens live there along the Lebanese border and are already been displaced, many of them, since the October seventh attack and the series of sporadic attacks constantly being done by Hezbollah in southern Lebanon into border over the border into Israel. Now Hezbollah has been the main culprit involved in the exchanges with Israel, although it hasn't as of yet taken any responsibility for this this latest strike. The back and forth missile warplane strikes threatened to widen the violence and expand the war that's taking place currently between Israel and Hamas in Gaza as uh, innocent innocent Israelis are being killed, continuously being threatened 
and this is uh, this is terrorist activity being done by Hezbollah there in um, Lebanon. So we have breaking news on this as Hezbollah keeps firing rockets this time into the Israeli city of Safed or Safed and uh, killing one woman and injuring seven others. This is not good at all. We talk about this in our brand new book that's coming out. It's shipping March 26 now, and that's Revelation 9-11. My co-author, Troy Anderson, and I put together an extensive look at the current events going on around the world and how they relate to the Bible prophecy of those last days. It's extraordinary, and you should pre-order yours today at Amazon. Dot com, or you can get it at Target.com, Walmart.com, BarnesandNoble.com. Uh, Books a Million has it. Uh, book reads. Everywhere books are sold, basically. But go to Amazon.com, get your copy. They're shipping March 26th. Uh, wow. Uh, and and we, can't get, we can't really get it out there fast enough. We are living, absolutely living, in the last days. It's getting worse, folks. It's getting worse. The war is getting worse in the Holy Land. Are you serious? Saturday was silent, and surely. It was through. Since when has impossible ever stopped you? And Friday's disappointment is Sunday's empty tomb. Since when has impossible ever stopped you? This is the sound of a dry bones rattling. This is the praise, make a dead man walk again. Open the grave, I'm coming out. I'm gonna live, gonna live again. Are you ready? This is the sound of dry bones rattling. Prophecy being fulfilled. This is the praise, make a dead man walk again. Hope in the grave, I'm coming out. I'm gonna live, gonna live again. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. That's right. Israel. The rebirth of Israel as a nation. 
Think about it, folks. Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, thus saith the Lord God, behold, my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves. Oh, yes. And bring you into the land of Israel. Then you shall know. Prophecy. In your own land, and you shall live. Prophecy. I will place you in your own land. You shall live, 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 live. The demons of hell are coming against the Son of God. Dry bones live. Dry bones live. in the end days we're in the last days the Bible says that they will try to part the land and you're what you're witnessing now going on in the land of Israel is a constant assault on the sovereignty of the Holy Land but the Holy Land strikes back now there is, you see the tension mounting from the United Nations, from the Biden administration, from King of Jordan, who went to the White House to push. Everybody pushing Netanyahu to stop uh, trying to root out Hamas in the Gaza Strip, including the Iranians who are using the Houthi rebels in Yemen to fire at innocent cargo ships and oil tankers in the Mediterranean Sea and in the Red Sea. You have Hezbollah today firing rockets and hitting the town of uh, Fasad, uh, hitting the town, their northern town of Israel, killing one Israeli woman, injuring seven other civilians. Israel strikes back with a series of airstrikes right now as we speak, hunting down the Hezbollah terrorists. The pressure's building from the United Nations, from the European Union, from France's uh, President Emmanuel Macron, from the Biden administration, uh, from uh, uh, the, uh, the entire European Union and the United Nations, and just everywhere, everybody, but Israel continues to defend its homeland, defend its sovereignty, and defend the covenant that was made with God. So this this is an extraordinary situation. It's Bible prophecy, Bible prophecy coming forward right before our very eyes. And so we want to stay focused on it. We're going to keep an eye on all of it. And uh, I'll be back uh, right here on this YouTube channel. On the coming apocalypse, we're going to continue to stay on top of the day-to-day -day events going on, sometimes now, actually, hour to hour, okay? Literally, with these solar flares that are hitting the earth right now, I expect a major earthquake will, will, will happen. I don't want it, but it's just too much, this cannibal, uh, this cannibal CME. We just had a 6.0 hit Micronesia, there's been several pretty strong earthquakes here in the last four or five hours. There was another 6.0 earthquake earlier this morning. That one was in Chile. So, you know, we're dealing with the, the, the bigger ones like 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15
Papua New Guinea. We've had several, four, five, six, seven uh, earthquakes in White City, New Mexico. Okay. We had another 4.5 in Indonesia. Like I said, 6.0 earthquake hit Chile. 4.9 hitting Japan. Um, We have a 4.8 in the South Sandwich Islands. We have a 5.7 also in the South Sandwich Islands. And then a next one, same place, 5.2. And then we had a 5.2 in Japan again. Idaho even had a 2.7. 5.0 in the Philippines. More, uh, there was a 4.1 in Westmoreland, California. Again, that Southern California getting it's rocking down there. 4.8 in the Philippines. 4.4 in Indonesia, and then boom, that 6.0 in Micronesia, followed by a uh, 4.7 in Micronesia and there's other places around the world, but man, it's really intensity right now, uh, taking place. And so, uh, in the Micronesia area and Japan and that whole area right in there, it just seems like we're watching the ring of fire continues to get on fire. And, and there's more than that just happening right now. There's all over the globe. There's warfare, there's wars and rumors of wars. There's plagues breaking out, new diseases. Uh, there's crashes. I just seen where a guy, somebody crashed into the hospital. I believe that was in, um, uh, I want to say Austin, Texas, but I might, I might be wrong on that. But uh, crashing into the hospital, uh, killing one person and injuring five others. He, this person just drove at a high speed their car right through the window uh, of the ER there in the hospital. Uh, so it's just, you know, we have the three cops that were shot earlier today in Washington, D.C. We have crime running rampant in our major cities across America. Yeah, we cover all that in Revelation 9-11. We cover the green religion. We cover the woke agenda. We cover the um, transhumanism, AI, UFOs, alien deception. We we cover I mean just you you name it Holy Land uh, prophecies uh, America's role in the last days we just cover everything so get your copy get ready we're living in the last days I'll be back guys with more okay with more and and don't forget my pillow don't forget my pillow some of you need to order a brand new pillow you should go ahead and do it you should just go to uh, www.mypillow.com forward slash Paul. That's www.mypillow.com forward slash Paul. Use the promo code Paul. Get some new sheets. Those Giza sheets, he's got them reduced unbelievably. Get some new towels. Of course, the new pillow, the 2.0, the new pillow that stays nice and cool. But uh, check it out. So go to www.mypillow.com forward slash Paul. And uh, don't forget that... Uh, Man, uh, of course, Mike is helping spread the gospel of Jesus Christ with his faith in the Lord. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're in the last days. <laughs> 